we go into the main session, I did have um, some questions um, about the proposals to use uh, Ascension Island as a possible processing centre for asylum seekers, Mr Rycroft. Was this really a serious suggestion? Well, thank you very much, Chair, for the opportunity to discuss uh, these important issues with you. Um, the uh, civil service is here to give ministers impartial, fearless, honest, expert, independent advice, uh, and that is what we do, and the system works when we do that in right. private. So was this a serious suggestion, Mr Rycroft? Was it seriously in investigated bring, by you? In order to bring innovation and creativity into our system, I think it is right that the Home Office should look at how other countries tackle right, Sorry, no, is... I'm asking specifically about Ascension Island. Was that a serious, that something that you seriously looked into as an option for an asylum no, processing not, centre? I'm not going to comment on the content of leaks. All I'm going to say is that the process works when the civil service is able to offer impartial advice. OK, I mean, well, just on the issue of Ascension, Ascension Island, impartial advice, but honest advice, anyone who knows anything about the South Atlantic knows we don't have a good record on a landing strip. So... St Helena hasn't had proper aircraft landing. Well, the airstrip there has never really delivered fully, even though it has now been built. Ascension Island's airstrip has been out of action since 2017. So this was in the realms of cloud cuckoo land. Are you, can you just confirm whether or not civil service time was actually spent investigating something where you couldn't even land an aircraft? What I can confirm is that the civil service has been responding to ministers' questions about how other countries deal with what is a global issue. Uh, migration uh, and we have been uh, leaving no stone unturned in doing that uh, we've been looking at what a whole host of other countries do in order to bring innovation into our own system uh, no decisions have been taken no uh, pr final proposals have been put to ministers or to anyone else uh, this is in the uh, realm of the brainstorming stage of a future policy and i think uh, as ministers have said in the house everything is on the table uh, and so it should be at this stage of the policy making okay process. so it's on a, a brainstorming stage but it hasn't been denied by the government so as the senior civil servant at the home office can you tell us what other offshore proposals have been discussed um, no, I, I can tell you again that we're looking at all sorts of uh, proposals for all sorts of different ways of improving our system of asylum so that we can continue to uh, provide protection to those who need it in accordance with our international obligations right. and to make sure that the system is not being abused. And we will leave no stone unturned in looking for ways of doing that, that some of which would be so, continuity of how we're currently doing it and some of which would be very different. So in your professional opinion, Mr Rycroft, is putting people on old ferries offshore an improvement to our asylum accommodation system? As I say, no decisions have been taken. We're at the stage of looking at all sorts of options and responding to ministers' requests for us to do so, and it is entirely proper for us to do that. And the advice that has been and will continue to come back will cover all the different aspects including the law the operational practicalities the financing the value for money the diplomatic issues public engagement issues all sorts of things that you would expect but all of that needs to happen privately in order for the civil service to give ministers the very best advice that we can and that is what we are here for and that is well I, th I mean my, I, I tremble at the idea that all of this is proven privately this is an issue that matters to a lot of people Actually, good advice from outside the civil service, I would suggest, is a 